to my channel or if you're new welcome today i have got wonder of wonders a home bargains haul so here in the uk i think we are in either week four or week five of lockdown i have absolutely no idea i've lost the thread of what day it is most of the time let alone where we are in the lockdown period but it's been a while and even before we went into total lockdown we were in very much not going out if you could help it not going shopping and i haven't been to home bargains for i think six or seven weeks now you might think that in six or seven weeks a person could be cured of a problem apparently not apparently if you don't go to home bargains for six or seven weeks you just spend more when you do go so my usual issue is that i pop in for one or two things and i spend 30 pounds and that's that's standard i always seem to spend about 30 quid today i spent 60 quid 57 pounds 24 so when you think I normally go once a fortnight and I spend 30 quid, if I'm this the first time in six weeks I've spent six, I'm still I'm still saving money and I'm gonna hold on to that and you can't take it away from me. So there's my receipt. Um and I'm gonna show you what I got. Most of it I would say was could be just about considered essential shopping. I mean I think chocolate's essential. Certainly a lot of it i certainly went in for essentials but i did buy some non-essentials while i was there because once you're in the shop it's silly to walk around blinkered about the other stuff and go i'm not here for that apparently so um let me show you first then or let me tell you first that as well as this there's a bag of potting compost but i've left it in the boot of the car because it's for my mum and it seems silly to lug it in the house and carry it back out so that was 199 and i'm going to start from the top of the receipt and that way i should get through everything shouldn't i so i got three packets three packets of the world's best biscuits because i have really missed these i've only had one packet of these in the last few weeks and that was a lovely gift from um that was a lovely gift from sam reselling polly she sent um, dog food and then she also sent a packet of the world's best biscuits in there as well i really missed them they're 79p in home bargains now they do have them in tesco's but they're one pound 59 in tesco's and i think that's disgusting so even though i've really missed them i wouldn't pay that in tesco's for them so i picked up three packets of those at 79 pence each and then next to them where they didn't normally have these they had the world's second best biscuits which are the same ones but they are raspberry and cream viennese instead of the chocolate viennese so they're the world's second best biscuits and they were also 79p and they are it says 50% extra free, except I don't think they are, because it doesn't say that on the packet. It says on the receipt. Don't know. Anyway, very pleased with those. I've got four packets of biscuits. It's um, it's about two o'clock, so they should last me until half past three. <laughs> think I'm joking, don't you? Who knows? Okay. Next on my receipt are the eggs. So let me just grab the eggs. You were a crash now where I grabbed the eggs and dropped them. I picked up... These are the, these are the best value eggs I've seen for a while. These are... 10 big eggs uh, they are 89 pence these eggs at home bargain so that's not bad for large eggs is it please with those a nice size egg for 89p where can i put those you watch you watch me knock those off the table now i just have a bit of a reorganize okay next on my receipt is this mug i did actually uh, film a tiny bit while i was in home bargains to put in the weekly waffle because i was so, so excited to be in there isn't this a lovely mug it says be happy on the outside it's got gold rim. It's a tankard style. I quite like these tankard mugs. I really didn't need it. And so I bought it to send to a friend. I'm going to send it off as friend mail and hopefully make somebody else smile. So um, that was £2.99. I think that's quite good for that mug, don't you? £2.99? I think that's a nice mug for that price. If you're the person I'm sending it to, block your ears when I say the price. Too late. I've said it. Novelty value. Tiny bag of Pringles. Since when do Pringles come in a tiny bag? Pringles Mini Originals. These were 39p. I'm going to open them. I'm not going to open them. I can't get them. Okay, they're not for opening. You have to tear the top to open them, like you do with a bag of peanuts. They're Mini Pringles. I thought they'd all be broken, but they're not. Um, they are literally just small Pringles. They taste exactly like Pringles. You know why? Because they're Pringles. Stop eating the Pringles, Kyle. 39p probably not that good value when you think how, that you can get a big tube for 99p that's 30 gram bag i'm not sure how many you get in the large tube I mean, you can get a large tube for a quid can't you that's probably not very good value at all but novelty i like a novelty oh i also bought a jumbo shopping bag you won't see that it's over there behind you um because i've forgotten how to go shopping 
I had forgotten that you have to take your bags when you go shopping. That's, you know, three or four weeks in lockdown and I don't know how to do anything anymore. So I'd forgotten to take my bags, I had to buy a jumbo shopping bag. It is very jumbo. It's probably big enough to live in if we lose this house, so that's reassuring. Uh, a packet of baby wipes, they're 85p, the Johnson's all over, gentle all over wipes. Glides away three times more mess for silky smooth healthy feeling skin, enriched with silk extract. I don't know what you can extract from silk, but apparently once you've extracted it, you can put it into baby wipes. 85p. Okay. Uh, next up is a bag of peppers. Now, I had a bag of frozen peppers in the freezer of all places. Fancy that. Lent them to a neighbour. Never got them back. It doesn't really matter. I will just slice these and put these in the freezer. I like to have frozen peppers on hand to just chuck a handful into a pasta sauce here and there, you know. So I'm going to do that stuff and slice those up and put those in the freezer. I believe if I freeze them flat on a tray, then I can put them into a bag afterwards and they'll be free flowing when I want them, I believe. You can tell me if I'm wrong later. I'll tell you if I'm wrong later because I'll know, won't I? Skinny Whip. Now, I quite like the strawberry Skinny Whips and the chocolate Skinny Whips, but I've never seen the mint ones. These are mint and dark chocolate. They're less than 99 calories, which I don't really care about. I just quite like them. And I thought I would give them a go. I would try them now, but I've now got Pringles in my teeth, so I'm not going to give those a go as well. But I'll let you know in the waffle if they were any good. If you watch my weekly waffle, you'll find out. So those were a pound a box, I think. 99p. 99p, which is the same price as the strawberry and chocolate ones, obviously. And uh, yeah, quite looking forward to trying those and seeing if they're nice. Where can I put them? I'm running out of space. Okay, uh, next up. Oh, B12. This is for mum. Um, mum has always, or not always, mum has for the last year or so had a vitamin B12 injection at the doctor's every three months. And obviously they're not doing that because they're only doing essentials. They said so it wasn't essential for her to have it. Of course, she's now worried because she's like, if it's not important for me to have it, then why was I having it? But they said to her she could get vitamin B12 tablets and take those. And we weren't able to get any Tesco's, although I wasn't able to get any in Tesco's. But I saw them today in Home Bargains. They were one ninety nine. And they're one a day and the 60 in there. So two months supply for 199. So I will take those to mum on Thursday when I go. She doesn't know what she has a B12 injection for and nor do I. I wonder if the back of it tells you. With vitamin twe 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 twebelve. Vitamin B12 contributes to normal energy yielding meta 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 metabolism. I can't say that ego apparently. And to the reduction of tiredness and fatigue. Vitamin B12 supports normal functioning of the nervous system. Hmm. Okay, so I will take those to mum Thursday. She'll be happy that I've managed to get those. Something else. I don't know if these have always existed. No, they haven't, because it says limited. I feel a bit better now. It says limited edition on them. I was wondering if they always existed and I'd just never seen them, whether I'd been wandering around with my head in the clouds. Or they are fries, but they are strawberry cream. Now, obviously, I've seen the blue bars and the green bars. The green bars are peppermint. The blue bars are spearmint, I think. Or is it the other way around? And then obviously they did an orange one and I've seen a raspberry one but I've never seen a strawberry one and I thought to myself have these been around forever and I've just not noticed them but it does say limited edition so I feel a bit better about it now. So I bought those again novelty value oh I don't know about those I'll try those most of my shopping is um, novelty value and I'm, I'm a, I do succumb I do I'm, I'm a shocking you know if you put stuff near the till I'll buy it every time I come in with a poo if you put it by the till. Okay um oh welly socks these are women's festival welly socks. You'll be astonished to know that I'm not going to any festivals. Funny that, but I do have a plan for these socks. I needed a big pair of socks for something that I want to attempt to make. <laughs> Watch this space. So that's what they're for. They were $1.99, I think. I've lost them on the receipt. They were $1.99. They come in several colours. If you want some welly socks, they came in pink and something else. Maybe a green, I seem to recall. Okay. A peg basket. I am so sick of picking the pegs up out of the grass. I love my children. You can tell it's a complaint when it starts with the words, I love my children. I love my adult grown up children who should know how to take washing off a line without dropping the pegs in the dirt. I love them very much. However, apparently they can't get washing off a line without dropping the pegs in the dirt. And so this is probably, it's probably our 90th peg basket in the time that we've lived here. But even so, we'll have another go at owning a peg basket and see if they can put the pegs in there. I bet you they can't. I think Anthony's method of taking washing off a line is literally just to get the item and yank and then the pegs just fly anywhere. I don't know. And I asked Natalie to put the washing out for me yesterday and I think she put it out with a spite on because you've never seen anything like it in your life. Okay, um, next up is the cucumber wipes. These are for Natalie. These are 58 pence a pack, bizarrely enough, I think. Oh no, they're, not, they're 59 pence a pack. 
59 pence a pack and I got Natalie two packs of those because she asked me to get her some cleansing facial wipes and so I did that's, that's that's the entire story behind that there's no no further backstory needed Natalie wanted them I got them I did find paracetamol now as you know I get a fair few headaches and they've been thick and fast recently partly because I'm sleeping weird so um paracetamol I spotted that and they do still have a limit on it made me laugh it said due to the coronavirus crisis there is a limit of two per person and I was like there's always been a limit of two per person on paracetamol always this is not anything to do with the coronavirus crisis i got a bottle of comfort creations bear with me that's a bit far away <laughs> things closer and a few things further away so the stuff that I've shown you already I've moved further away so I won't have to climb around the table and grab it okay so comfort creations I got the strawberry and lily kiss oh, I really like this one this one was 199 for 33 washes and the other flavor flavor fragrance aroma type style sort was 2.99 so I saved a quid and bought the one I liked which seemed reasonable so 199 for 33 washes on that one and I will I always water that down. I keep all the empty. I've got lots of the smaller one litre bottles. And I, when I say lots, I mean about 12. And I've kept them for years and I water it down because we're a very sloshy family. I think I've said this before in a haul video. We just slosh a load in. We don't measure. So if I've already watered it down, it lasts a lot longer. Otherwise, that would be gone in two days. I think the way we slosh. Scented bin liners. These are the ones that I use to bag my unlisted clothing up in. So when I get the bulk my clothing sacks which of course I'm not getting at the moment because everywhere is closed but when I get those I sort everything into what I'm going to keep and I fold it in tens and then I tie it up into these bags in tens and then when I'm in a listing mood I grab one bag out and I know that's 10 listings last time I had lemon these ones are vanilla these are much nicer and although the smell isn't very very strong it does seem to last so the clothes do smell quite fresh when I get them out so that's a nice thing and they are they're only 79p you get 14 there they're very thin in fairness they're supposed to be bin liners i wouldn't use those for actual bin liners because the moment you put anything in they're, they're, they're going to rip straight through if you want to use them as bin liners you'd have to double up and that's quite wasteful but they're quite good to use as clothing bags because i don't mind if they tear a bit when i'm grabbing them back out again i got my mother packet of licorice all sorts after i picked them up i, I, I was doubtful about whether it was her that said she liked them but i think it was i'm fairly sure in a telephone conversation with my mum earlier this week she mentioned that she liked licorice all sorts if I get there and she says, why have you bought me those I don't like them? Then I'll know I've lost my mind and it was somebody else. <laughs> um, next up, oh, dog, dog twist sticks. I got a packet of these. These are raw high free treats. So there's 24 in there. And they were $1.99, that pack. And there's another packet of dog treats here somewhere as well. I think that's the $1.99 pack. I'm fairly sure it is. So $1.99 for 24, that's not bad. Um... They have a treat. We're trying to cut down because we discovered we were all treating them several times a day and they were all getting a bit circular. So now we have a bit of a check before um, before we give them a treat to see if they're like, because they tell lies. They tell terrible, ter if you say to our dogs, have you had a treat today? They'll go, no, 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 no. Despite the fact they could have been stuffing treats until their ears, ears popped, you know? So, um, so yeah, we check now before we give them a treat so they're not going to end up quite as fat. Uh, next thing is the turkey ham which is underneath my receipt so I got a packet of Bruno Matthews turkey ham just for old time's sake really we used to buy this when the kids were little and I haven't bought it for years bear in mind that it's formed turkey which means it's bits of god knows what squudged back together to look like meat but the kids liked it and so I haven't had it for years so I thought I'd get it and that was uh, 99p I think yeah oh sorry 89p then the next thing on the receipt is the other packet of wipes I said to you that I got two of those there's the compost now these these are one pound twenty nine for four, and I was quite thirsty in home bargains. I'd already waited, I'd already waited in the queue at the bank, and then I'd gone into home. And there wasn't a queue for home bargains, which was nice because the last time I drove past, they were queuing around the block. But there was no queue for home bargains today, but I was quite hot and bothered, and so I thought, oh, I'll get a drink. And then I had, a, had, and I drank one of them after I came out in the car. So um, they are Perrier and Juice, low in calories. Again, not that I cared. And it's pineapple and mango. So it's a sparkling flavoured beverage. Beverage, Sheldon. Would you like a beverage? With pineapple and mango fruit juices from Concentrate. They sound lovely. They sound really refreshing. They tasted almost alcoholic. So if you like alcoholic stuff, you might be quite happy with that. But 
I don't drink alcohol and the, al the almost alcoholic taste I found a little bit off-putting. I was so thirsty that I knocked it back regardless and in fairness it might be better if it was chilled on over ice. It was a bit like a lilt I suppose. Similar taste to a lilt. Um, so yeah if you had it chilled and poured over ice that might be very nice and refreshing but I had it you know straight off the shelf so not chilled and I didn't love it although I, it did quench my thirst so you know beggars can't be choosers. I bought this big pack of bacon. Where has it gone? There it is. This says uh, thick 20, average rashers 18 to 22. So there you go. There's your average of 20. That was 3 99 Now, I normally get a big pack of bacon from Costco for about £6, and I'm sure I get twice as much. But again, beggars can't be choosers. I'm not going to Costco at the moment because I'm not sure what their opening hours are like because they do trade and they do um, non-trade. And of course, I'm a non-trade member. I don't know if they're prioritising trade members. I don't know if the times have changed. I don't know if the queuing system's weird at the moment. And because of my dodgy knee, I don't want to go and discover that I've got to stand in a queue for hours outside. It's bad enough doing that at Tesco when I can lean on a trolley. So I haven't been going. That was a long, long way of saying I haven't been going. So I got the bacon at Home Bargains. I think 20 slices for four quid is not bad. That's still cheaper than the supermarket would have been, I think. Because it's thick cut slices. So Anthony loves bacon. And of course, so doesn't you know about Natalie and bacon. Anthony and Natalie, both bacon freaks. Two of these um, Yorkshire pudding and pancake mixes. I've never used them to make Yorkshire puddings. I do use them to make pancakes. And I know it's lazy because I know pancakes are easy enough to make at the better times. But flour has been difficult to get hold of. These are 39 pence each. You add one egg and 250 mils of water. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. We had pancakes yesterday. And of course, once you've made pancake mix, so I keep banging the table so the camera wobbles. Once you've made pancake mix, it will keep in the fridge for a couple of days. Did you know that? There you go. Useful handy tip. I'm useful for some things, you see. Oh, I picked up this. Where is it? There it is. I wanted, uh, they didn't have my usual conditioner. And I saw this and I thought, okay, again, novelty value. It's going to have to be shook up well before it's used, I think. It is Gliss Hair Repair Express Repair Conditioner Colour Protect and Shine. Keratin serum and 3D colour luminance. It's a leave-in and it's immediate combability, comability, not combability. Come on, Carla. Immediate, co immediate comability, anti-fading and radiant, radiant vibrancy for coloured, tinted or highlighted hair. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Do you have coloured, tinted or highlighted hair? Yes, I do. Your coloured hair loses its vibrancy through frequent hair washing. It needs special protection to retain its intense colour and luminance. Gliss Colour Protect and Shine offers immediate easy comability. This is sounding familiar. Radiant vibrancy and colour protection for up to 12 weeks. Blah, blah, based on blah, blah, to specifically serve blah, blah. For optimal care results, please do this. Shampoo, conditioner and then directions. Shape before usage. Spray into towel dried hair. Or dry hair after it towel dried or dry hair after heavy hair wash leave in use regularly do not spray into eyes well i won't be doing that i won't spray it into my eyes oh it smells quite pleasant it smells quite pleasant and um, i thought i'd give it a go i think it was 199 it was it was 199 yeah so you have to let me know if my hair starts looking more vibrant then we'll know it works won't we if my hair starts looking less vibrant don't tell me at all just let me live in my own vibrancy free world and don't break my bubble potatoes potato i got four finest baking potatoes is it me or bake of baking potatoes got a bit little i mean I, when i want a baked potato i want something the size of my head don't you that's not the size of anyone's head that's not even the size of buddy's head and buddy's got a titchy little head anyway i'm gonna do baked potatoes for myself and anthony for for kind of late lunch early tea i think in a minute a diamond hanging organiser. Well, oh, I know what that is. That's this. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I, I fell for it. Novelty value again. It, they've got a picture of it hanging in the kitchen inside a cupboard. Do I want it inside a cupboard? Surely if you hang it inside a cupboard, then only thing that's on your shelf is going to get... I don't know. Anyway, I've got a lovely hanging organiser to organise something with. I'm a te Honestly, it was 99p. I'll use it somewhere. I don't think I needed that. <laughs> Don't think I needed that at all. I got a Vileda window cloth. This is to do the inside of the car windows because they are very dusty and mucky and none of my cloths seem to be doing a very good job. So I got a Vileda window cloth and I've got some window cleaning spray somewhere and at some point I will go out there and do that when I can be bothered. Next up is, are you bored yet? 
it's been 20 minutes i've been rambling for 20 minutes i mean all right i'll trim it down a bit when i take out the coughs and all the rest of it but even so uh next up is the other dog treats i got a big packet of i love my my dog 700 grams family bag family bag for a family of dogs maybe but not for the whole family eh? and that's got all different treats and shapes and sticks in there so they should with the other packet that i got as well they should have enough to keep them going for a little while now i shouldn't have to rush out for those essentials anytime soon i also got oh i got two of these cold coffees but anthony's run off with one of them already so these are for anthony he really likes these and when i laid it all out on the table he came and he went oh, cold coffee and i was like they are for you but i have to film them first he was like can you not just film one of them and i couldn't think of a good reason to say no so off he went with his coffee <laughs> and then i got a birthday card which i need to send off i'm not going to show you that because it's for someone who watches i bought a little packet of Don Mio sauce this is this is a served one and it literally just cook pasta throw it in this one's mini meatballs i had a squeeze of it i think there's about two mini meatballs in the entire packet either that or there's so many you can't feel them but they're a pound and they just make a very very quick lunch if you just want something i quite often again throw a handful of peppers in as well or something just to boost it up and make it a little bit more interesting and then a three pack of little beans if it's only me i only want a little beans you know anthony will eat most of a big tin but i only want a little beans so even though that's not the most economical way of buying beans it is more economical than putting half a tin in the fridge and then putting it in the bin three weeks later oh my god scotch tablet look at this this is lee's scottish tablet i've never seen this in home bargains before it's basically a little bar of sugar isn't it that's what tablet is it's pure sugar if you look at the ingredients i expect it says sugar is there any ingredients ingredients sugar glucose syrup which is also sugar full cream sweetened condensed milk butter and salt i loved tablet when i was a kid i used to be able to get the tablet and i've never seen it for years oh so good so damn i should have bought six of those not six bars six packets of bars oh it's just well i didn't buy six because i would be totally totally addicted to that that's so good mm. how have scottish people got any teeth i mean i guess you don't live on it i guess that's how <laughs> um next up is the country life spreadable butter um i don't need to explain butter to you do there was some butter i needed butter i bought butter oh i bought this gonna try and do some meal planning i think so this is a chalkboard wall sticker and it's a basic weekly planner it says monday tuesday monday through to sunday and it says peel sticker it says removable on the top we'll find out and i'm going to put it on the side of the kitchen cupboard so that if it isn't removable it won't matter and it says chalk included oh yeah chalk is included they don't lie there's the chalk look in there they wouldn't lie why would they lie to me so i'm going to put that on the side of the kitchen cupboard and attempt to get a bit of meal planning going on around here so that we um so that we stop not eating decent meals eating random crap because i didn't plan and didn't get anything out of the freezer uh that was 149 did i tell you that the tablet was one pound for a pack of three the beans are, i've stopped telling you prices the beans are 129 for three the tablet was a pound for a pack of three the chalkboard thing is i've just said this two seconds ago 149 the country life spreadable butter was 199 okay i'm back on a roll now and underneath my phone i'm not going to pick it up because the phone is uh, the phone is recording i'm using it as a tripod is an 18 pack of toilet roll i've got 18 toilet rolls i'm basically branson now I've got 18 toilet rolls. To be honest, I think I've missed the boat on being Branson because I think everybody's got 18 toilet rolls now, haven't they? I think all the toilet rolls went out of stock and then all the toilet rolls came back into stock and now everybody's got toilet rolls and my wealth has been devalued. But I'm pleased about having 18 toilet rolls anyway. So there. And finally, last but by no means least, real Ribena. When I was a kid, we didn't have real Ribena in our house. We had Tesco's apple and blackcurrant squash. It wasn't very nice, if I recall correctly. And I remember going to a friend's house and they had real Ribena and I remember thinking that they must be billionaires if they could have real Ribena. I was always told when I asked for Ribena in the supermarket, no, it's too expensive, we can't afford it. And in fairness, it probably was and we probably couldn't. But I remember thinking they must be very, very wealthy if they could have real Ribena. I think Ribena's got cheaper. This was 
£2.50 and this is a massive bottle. 1.5 litres of real Ribena. So I nearly bought the smaller bottle. There was a 600ml bottle and it was one ninety nine, and it said on it 40% extra free and that made it look like a bargain. And I'd actually got as far as picking it up and then I glanced down and I thought, hang on a minute, that next one is £2.50 and it's 1.5 litres. So that's six... 600 mils 1200 mils for two of those and then it's one and a half times bigger again than the one that that was 199 and that's only 50p more i don't follow the logic of that i don't know what home bargains are doing there i don't know maybe, maybe i don't know maybe there's a mistake I'm not rushing back to tell them i'm very excited even though i'm 46 and i was six when i wanted the real ribena i'm very excited that 40 years later i can afford it just about <laughs> So, yeah, there we go. You've, you've seen the highs and lows of my shopping. I'm not sure there are any particular lows. I don't know. Probably the tablet's going to turn out to be a low when all my teeth fall out, isn't it? But um, there we go. This is my first Home Bargains haul in six weeks. I think most of it will be classed as essentials. Maybe not the tablet. If I was diabetic, it'd be essential, but I'm not. But I probably will be if I eat enough of it. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to comment below about anything you want as long as it's as long as it's friendly. Keep it friendly. You know, we're, we're all in. Be kind. And remember, stay home as much as you can. Like I said, this is my first shopping haul in six weeks. I'm staying home. I go out to get my mum shopping once a week, but the rest of the time I don't go very, very far at all. So this is my first home burgers haul in all that time. Stay home, stay safe, protect the NHS, save lives, stay hydrated. Stay cool, Daddy-o, and I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye. Daddy-o? Daddy-o. Daddy-o.